The Edmonton Oilers close out a three-game road trip against the New York Rangers on Saturday afternoon. Both teams are coming off losses on Wednesday with Edmonton losing on Long Island in a 49-shot effort that was stymied by Ilya Sorokin. Now, of course, Edmonton got off on the right foot to begin the year with a 7-3 record, but have fallen to 3-7 in their last 10, which includes a negative 15 goal differential and 40 goals against. Uh, for me, I wish I could say that there's uh, one specific thing that needs to get cleaned up. Um, you know, for a while our penalty kill took a little bit, took on water for a little bit. It seems to be headed in the right direction. Um, you know, our net play at different occasions has left something to be desired. Um, there's been games where we've struggled to score at five on five. It's been it's been small parts of our game that can improve. Um, we've yet to do that for a long enough period. Seven and three to start the season was was nice, but uh, you know, in terms of the the details that go along with the with the game, uh, in order to have sustainable success, uh, we're not there yet. We weren't there after ten games. We're not there after twenty games. But the good news is we get an opportunity tomorrow um, to go against a very good hockey club, another Final Four playoff team from last year. And we get to measure ourselves uh, against a real good team on the road here. Um, I think it's a good opportunity. I think uh, our guys are up to the task and uh, we're determined uh, for the result. The team assigned Marcus Niemelainen to Bakersfield on Friday morning while also recalling Philip Broberg. Now the Swedish defenseman did join his teammates during the skate on Friday and is coming off a good stretch of hockey that's seen him post four points in his last four AHL games. I asked him what area of the game he feels most confident in ahead of his NHL season debut on Saturday. Well, my puck movement for sure, uh, good, good passes and... Uh, like I said, my skating uh, helps me a lot, so uh, yeah, it's still a role game. What I like about Philip is that he can also play on the right side. Uh, he's not just a, a D-man who can only play on the left side. He can play on the right side. I think um, Philip came up last year, acquitted himself well, got into one playoff game, and um, you know he helped our team win. So. Uh, quite aware of what his capabilities are. He didn't have the strongest camp that he wanted to have, but he went down and worked at his game. I uh, played a ton of minutes and we're excited about his opportunity tomorrow. It is likely that Broberg will skate on a pairing with Tyson Berry or as part of a three-man rotation on the bottom pair if Jay Woodcroft elects to go 11-7 and on Saturday. For Oilers TV, I'm Tony Brar.